In June 1911, King George V and his wife, Queen Mary, welcomed the crowds at Buckingham Palace after their coronation. George is known as cautious and conservative. And Mary does not believe that it is appropriate for royalty to smile in public. Here his children play at being sailors. Practicing his rifle drill is his eldest son and heir, Edward, known in the family as David, one of his middle names. Alongside him is his brother Bertie and sister Mary brandishing a sword. In George's reign, the social order is changing. Working people are becoming more vocal, demanding their rights. A flashpoint is the suffragettes' campaign, Votes for Women. One of their most daring publicity stunts will involve the king at the 1913 Epsom Derby. As the race reaches Tattenham Corner, Emily Davison steps in front of Anma, the horse owned by the king. The horse survives, but Emily is killed. No one knows exactly what Emily's motives are. Some speculate that she merely wanted to tie the suffragette colors to the horse. Others see it as an act of martyrdom. The suffragettes are front page news. A year later, 200 of them march on Buckingham Palace to present a petition to the king. 67 are arrested. George never publicly responds. As king, he is expected to be impartial in politics 